Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial on this channel. Today we are animating this conference screen right here and I want to add a splash screen uh, like a landing page for this app and we are going to create a transition between this landing page, this splash screen and this index screen right here. Now let me get this font straight and let me get this font straight right here and after that we are simply adding a new artboard that's having the same uh, size of the current one. So we can of course also just copy the current one and delete all the contents. The next thing that we are going to do is to pick a background color. The background color will have the same color as this orange that we have in the uh, navigation bar on this uh, tab and uh, this navigation bar right here and we are going to add like an like a logo for this app and we are simply using like some of some icons right here maybe just let's just uh, use this one it's for this tutorial not really relevant which icon we are going to choose and I think this one is really doing the job. Now let's hit save and now let's open up principal because I want to place all these screens in principal. So we can minimize these screens and maximize principal. Of course we are going to just hit import and we simply select import the current open sketch file that we have right here. Let's zoom in and we have to change the, uh, the order of our artboards right there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, it's not really expanding somehow. Let's make it smaller again like that. And what we are going to do is to say a click or basically a tap on our first artboard will redirect our users to the second artboard. Now we can simply do that and you will see that nothing's really happening but there is some weird stuff going on because of layer names right there. So because of this shape we simply call it shape 2 or give it whatever name you just want and we have a plain uh, screen transition right here, no animations or anything. But what I would like to do is to of course create like a fading animation. Uh, so what we are going to do is to simply add a new rectangle layer to this artboard right here. Just hit R and it's placing it onto the artboard, drag it all over and simply grab the color of this one. Now we now recreated the first uh, like artboard basically the background of the artboard and we will place it of course also on the first artboard on our splash screen as well because we want to change the filling um, and we replace the current filling with this background layer so just give it the name, uh, name BG or the, the same name in this case and we want to have a transition between the background layer by saying um, we want the opacity to change. Now we have this uh, tab right here on the artboard which redirects us to the conf artboard and now we can simply choose one of these layers for example the background layer right here and we can say change the opacity from 100 to 0% within this transition. Now if I click it you see that it's fading in nicely. We can of course also copy our shape and also change the opacity for that one. So you see it's also fading out nicely like that. And what I would like to do is to make these uh, timestamps and these like uh, events to slide in from the bottom to the top. Now what we're going to do with that is to 
simply grab these dates right here, or the, these times right here, and we copy them onto our first artboard. Now we are going to change the, uh, the current position of them. We place them below the actual artboard. I simply hit shift and use the arrow keys to navigate them down. And I want to have a different uh, like time when they are at their final destination. Now when I do it like at, a, like at the moment, you see they are flying in like very linear and I would like to have a different animation right there. So let's make this better by saying the second one should be like around there, the third one should be around there and this one should be around there. You know I really orientated um, the times, the starting times uh, and I focus on these little uh, lines right there. We can also of course make it bigger and right now we should already have like the effect that I wanted. You see all of them are popping in from the uh, bottom to the top in a nice way and I would like to do the same with the speakers. Now we simply copy these speakers and we paste them on top of our first artboard. I'm doing the same. I'm simply holding down shift and the down arrow key and we are simply placing them below our timestamps like this. And now you will see that they are of course just flying in in a linear way. We don't want that. We want them to fly in in the same way as our timestamps are doing. So simply grab them and they are snapping to the correct position. Like that. Now they should fit in nicely. Ah, okay, sorry, I just accidentally changed this timestamp. But you see, they are flying in nicely, in a nice way, exactly the way that we want it. We can of course also say, that the timestamps should come first and all the content should come later. So we could simply say, place all of them one step to the right, like that, to make an even more complex animation, which is, in my, which is uh, really nice. I like this current transition. And we simply, all we did was to change this, uh, like line right here, we placed it not to a zero second point, but to a 0 0.1 starting point. We didn't change the length of the animation, it's just still the same, but we get this nice fly in animation that's looking very nice, that's looking quite kind of fancy, and we get, of course, this transition from a 100 uh, post stand opacity of the splash screen to a zero percent so it's like really smooth really soft and these are popping in nicely okay guys i hope you enjoyed this small tutorial if you enjoyed it hit the thumb up button or subscribe to this channel thank you for your time and enjoy your week see you mm -hmm.